KJ fam and you welcome to Christina Jamil. We're back you guys for another food review. Woo! But not just any review. What? A few people wrote us and told us that Burger King has some brand new menu items. So shout out yes, to all do. of our KJ fam for letting us know. You guys always keep us abreast of all the new stuff that's going on. Exactly. Um, so today we went to Burger King mm -hmm. and they have a brand new Southwest uh, bacon yep. whopper. Yep, yep. So we had to get that. Exactly. One time for the one time. I just realized something. Yes, what did you realize, babe? Well, we got both, right? We, we got an Impossible and a regular version. Impossible yeah. and regular. We got bacon on the Impossible one. Yeah. That's weird, right? What are, yeah, we decided to get bacon on the Impossible one. But yeah, that was my fault. I ordered that. We can take the bacon <laughs> off. Well, I said yes. I guess we should have, maybe. That's why the lady said, is one of you vegan? Yeah, we're like, no. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. By the way, shout out to, oh no, I forgot her name. Um, uh, is it, it wasn't Elaine. Shoot. Well, shout out to, it was started with the E. She was awesome at Burger King. Oh, uh, Alara. Alara. Alara, yeah. thank you so much for your help. You were awesome. Uh, shout out to her. She hooked us up with everything. So definitely big shout out to her. Totally. Uh -huh. And she subscribed. And she's, yeah, yeah, she sure did. That's cool. Uh -huh. Okay, so the Southwest Bacon Whopper. Yeah. It is a one fourth pound uh, grill, uh, flame grilled beef with avocado spread, Ooh. bacon, crispy bacon, seasoned tortilla strips. American cheese, lettuce, sliced white onions, juicy tomatoes, and a creamy spicy sauce on a toasted sesame seed bun. That's pretty good. Okay. And this one cost, uh, let's see, it was, uh, I'm not sure. What? <laughs> um, I think it was Let me look. six, no, that's. Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know if I read that receipt. Okay, yeah, here we go. It's the nine. Okay, so yeah. the we got the combo oh, with um, the fries and the drink. That's why. It was only nine ninety nine. So it was. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, Pretty and good. then when we got the Impossible version. Six. They get an Impossible Whopper, and then they add the avocado spread, the tortilla strips, the sauce, and, yeah. you know, things like that. But anyways. Yeah. But the Impossible Whopper by itself is only six thirty nine. but then they added the stuff. Not bad. Anyways, this totaled uh, about 20 bucks. Yeah. It's not terrible. Yeah. I got fries and a drink, so can't be mad about that. Yes. Okay. You go first. No, you first. Oh, did you show them again what it oh, looks like? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks like. That's upside down version. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I'll go first. All you. Okay. Oh, they're tortilla strips and they're dripping all over, they're laying all over my leg. Jamil's been spilling since he... <laughs> Open the bag up. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. That's different with that um, with the avocado spread and the sauce and the tortilla strips. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. That changes the game. Mm hmm. Mm. I like it. You know. Mm. I do like it. But this is not gonna be for everyone. It has a lot of that avocado spread, really does give it a completely different vibe. And the tortilla strips, you know, they make it, you know, give it a little crunch, which is kind of cool. Mm. But the vibe is definitely changed mm -hmm. with, with that, right? Mm -hmm. Would you say that? Mm -hmm. It's good though. I like it, mm -hmm. but it's not for everyone. It's not gonna be for everyone. You have to like the Southwest flair. Yeah, you do. Flavor. Mm -hmm. But if you like that stuff, I actually think it's really delicious. Yeah. Yeah. I love the crunchy tortilla strips in there. Totally adds texture. Mm -hmm. I can I think the avocado spread's pretty light. And then the sauce they put on, it's really not that hot. I think it's that mm -hmm. spicy. Mm, on a one to ten, it's like a one or a two. Okay. And I'm saying that. Mm hmm I'd say a two. Yeah. There's 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 a little bit of a kick. Yeah. Mild, essentially, like mild sauce. Totally, yeah, but it's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. What do you think? Well, yeah, it's not for everybody. I totally get that because not everybody's gonna want. No, that avocado is gonna make it hard for a lot of people to eat. Personally, mm -hmm. I love Whoppers, which is how they come. Mm -hmm. To me, this just adds. It just adds to just it. It, it doesn't need to be added to it, to, in my opinion. 
I feel like they need a different burger if they're gonna do that. And it's okay, it's good, but it's too much for me, I would say. I like just standard Whopper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So you don't prefer this? I don't prefer what this What if they one. just said it was a Southwestern uh, bacon burger? Southwest bacon burger? I mean... Yeah, but I just... It's... To me, it just... The avocado just isn't needed, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. That's really what it is. Like, I don't mind the tortilla strips. I don't mind the... You know, anything on there. But the... The, the avocado just needs to go. Mm -hmm. You know in what? In my opinion. I actually don't need the avocado either. I, mm -hmm. I don't love... That's actually probably my least favorite part of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, avocado like cancels out flavors a little bit, it can. Mm -hmm. So, and I did feel like they put a good amount of that spread. Yeah, they did. Maybe it was like a lighter, like maybe ask for light spread because mm -hmm. I do think I most of my bites weren't a lot of avocado, but that last bite it was a lot of that avocado spread, and it did take away from, yeah, you know, the burger you know experience so for sure yeah i would ask for a light avocado spread or maybe get none or just get on the side yeah because i do think like everything without it it's good it's great you want to yeah thank you should we do the impossible burger um do you want to rate this one on one to ten? Oh yeah of course how do i always forget we do this like every day because you're like <laughs> rushing you're like oh yeah. <laughs> well it's not because of that be in the moment but listen i'm in the moment there you go it's because I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready to move on. Okay. Um, no, okay. Let's, um, okay, let's write a one out of ten. No, what are we, just like, how, yeah, okay. I'm comparing it to like a regular Whopper, in my opinion. That's really what I'm comparing okay. it to. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Oh. Uh -huh. And I love Whoppers. Okay, yeah. I'm ready. One, one two, two, three, three seven and a half. Okay. Cool. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, I'd say try it, you know, if you feel like it, but... If you're not an avocado fan, or if you're, you know, indecisive either way, I, I wouldn't do the avocado. Okay, here we go. So the Impossible Burger, which tastes better than Beyond Meat. <laughs> does it? Yes, it oh, does. Okay. It definitely does. I, never, I always forget which one we like better. Yeah, Impossible is the one. We like yeah. Impossible better? Uh, okay. No. I think so. The I think you're right. The flavor with Beyond is just, it's Beyond Meat. So, okay. Beyond me. So again, they just did an Impossible Whopper. They added the stuff to it that would make uh -huh. it the the Southwest. Yep. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm going in even with the, these tomatoes on it. You guys know how I feel about tomatoes. You love them. <laughs> Sliced tomatoes on burgers in particular or sandwiches. Yeah, because here she didn't put the spicy sauce on it. Mm. They only put the avocado spread. So I feel like she should have put the spicy sauce in this one. Mm -hmm. But we're going to give you a mm -hmm. real review of what we think of the vegan option. Minus mm -hmm. the bacon that we have on here. <laughs> I know, right? Mm. Well, we also put cheese, so. <laughs> I'm not vegan or vegetarian. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I know, what I, I, I know what I think of this. You don't like it? I like it a lot. Oh, good. It's good. I think it's, it's a actually good. Attack. You don't like it, huh? Uh, uh I like it a lot. It's actually really good. What do you like about it? Um, so you said something's missing. This the the avocado spread's missing, right? No, not the avocado spread. The spicy sauce. Oh, I taste spice for sure. I definitely taste spice. Mm. Okay. Keep talking. Well, I think I like about it. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of either of the meats, uh -huh. Beyond or Impossible, but with all the other stuff on it, mm -hmm. it really adds a lot to it, enough to make it actually taste good. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Sure. That's what I think I like about it. Yeah, because you didn't like the Impossible Whopper by itself, right? Um, I did like it. Uh -huh. I did like it. No, oh, it, was, okay. it was pretty good. But you liked even this but better? But this is better, in okay. my opinion. Good, good, good. Mm-hmm. You can have it. Yeah, so... <laughs> I think I've always said this about the Impossible Whopper. Yeah, it just has like a burn flavor for me. Mm-hmm. That I'm really not vibing with. Um, but, yeah. It tastes burnt to you? It, it does. How dare you say that about Impossible. <laughs> Definitely burn. But, I feel you. Yeah. But it's okay. Um, well, well, it's not okay. I mean, I don't like it, but mm -hmm. I can see people liking it. And I definitely think it's wonderful that 
excuse me, that they still have the options for people who are vegan or vegetarian. So that's mm -hmm. really great. Definitely two thumbs up from uh, from Burger King. Mm -hmm. But that one's just not my flavor. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you, So you're just not feeling it at all? No. <laughs> not vibing with that one. Yeah. You know, I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. I feel the same. I don't think everyone's going to like this one. Uh huh. But I do think that there's um, a lot of people. Well, okay. You can't. Obviously, if you are vegan or vegetarian, obviously, you got to get rid of the bacon and the cheese sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. Or depending on, you know, if you're vegan. Mm -hmm. But I would definitely say um, try it without that. I think it'll be really good. Uh -huh. I think you would like it with just the cheese and, or sorry, with just the avocado that spread. And, and the in the uh, tortilla chips and stuff like that on there, tortilla strips. I I think this is good. This is actually a really good burger. Yeah. And by the way, it doesn't take to me. It doesn't taste fake. It doesn't taste like imitation meat. It actually tastes like real meat. Oh. Okay. With everything added on, I okay. would have thought this was a real burger in my opinion. Wow. Yeah. I would have thought it was a weird tasting burger a little bit. Yes. But it's definitely. Weird. I would have thought it was real. I wouldn't have even second guessed it. I'm surprised. I mean, I would if I looked through it, I would have been like, oh yeah, clearly that's that's not real meat. Uh. -huh. But just taking a bite. No, I would have guessed it's real. You would have been fooled, huh? I would have been fooled, yeah. Okay, sure. good. So, But it does have bacon on it, though. So, you know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but two thumbs up from Jamil. Yeah, absolutely. Two thumbs down from me. Uh, let's rate it on a 1 to 10, though, okay. of what we think of the impossible version of the Southwest ba bacon mm. whopper. Sounds good. Mm. I think I'm ready. I know I'm ready. Me too. All right. One, One two, two, three, three seven. Three. Wow, you hated this thing. <laughs> Man. But. Yeah. Isn't this funny how sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm totally vegetarian. Like, sometimes. Or hard or vegan. Yes, you always say that. <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then here we are, uh, you know, with, sometimes you like the vegetarian version more than me. Mm -hmm. I love when that happens. That's true. I love when it's an anomaly. Good point. Yeah, so. By the way, guys, I got another burger. Jamil's really hungry. I'm going in on this. I literally, the only thing I had in the last 24 hours was a couple fries. <laughs> That's all I had. So, I'm eating this. Eat some food, yeah. For sure. Um, <laughs> uh -huh. What was I going to say? Yeah, so do we recommend it? Yes, I do. I mean, if you like the, you know, again, the, the Southwest vibe of burgers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I absolutely, I think you're really going to like this. I would definitely, yeah. If you're like your standard Whopper and you don't like to really, you know, um, diverge from, like, your normal, like, flavor, then no, this isn't mm -hmm. going to be for you at all, you know? Yeah, I agree so with you sense? on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I absolutely agree with you on that. Yeah. yeah. But I'd recommend it, but mm -hmm. only if you are if you have a burger King close by. Mm -hmm. I don't think either one of these burgers are worth actually driving to it and trying it out and actually seeing it. Now, that the sourdough milk, if you haven't tried that yet, if they do have them, you guys got to try it. Yeah. That thing's worth driving for. Do they still have them, you think? I don't know, but they, that needs to go on the menu, like, for sure. Like yesterday. Oh, yeah. I'm going to look and see. I think it was so good. That sourdough melt. Mm, it was so good. Oh, they better. I don't <laughs> I don't know, though. They better get rid of it. Burgers. Why do they do that at places? Oh, well, let me see. It's like when uh, Taco Bell had the chicken wings. They got rid of them. Of course they did. Man. I, I would like to talk to the the people, the CEO, or whoever decide, makes those decisions. Like, if you know people love this thing, which I think it got a lot of attention, too. Yes. Why would you take it off the menu? Ugh. Like I was saying, the Taco Bell, the chicken wings. I'm trying to figure out mm. why they took that off the menu. They only had it for like a week. I know. And the, the that, Mexican tacos that, are gone. Are you talking for Taco Bell? Yeah. Remember the melty ones? The cantina cheesy melt tacos? That Where they put that mm. nacho cheese on the bottom layer? <laughs> uh, it was like literally the best taco ever. I know. know. Like that we were really raving about it. Well, the Mexican taco might not be gone, but it's out of order. Like, or not, you know, it's like everywhere we go, they don't have it. Oh, the Mexican pizza. Sorry, talking about. pizza. Okay. Not taco. <laughs> Mexican Got it, pizza. yeah. Mexican pizza, yeah. I think they ran out of all the ingredients and they haven't restocked yet. It's like, what are you guys doing? Would you think you were going to come back and not many people were going to want that? I know. <laughs> you know, Taco Bell's fired for not, like, restocking with their Mexican pizza mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, no. we also missed, I just realized I'm looking on, like, new stuff on Burger King. Mm -hmm. They have a... Like a Burger King Southern Barbecue Royal mm. crispy chicken sandwich, and a Honey Butter Royal crispy mm. chicken sandwich. Mm. We didn't try that. Mm -hmm. I'm sad. 
We gotta definitely try. Let that. us know, fam, if you want us to try the chicken versions, a barbecue one and a honey butter. Yeah. Wait, did it say honey butter? Oh. Did I just say honey? I did say. You honey said honey butter. butter. <laughs> okay, I do have to say, mm -hmm. I hate honey, but I can do honey butter. Oh, you can. I can. Others. Uh, what did I get? That's honey butter. Um. I want to say we had on a biscuit or something. Hush puppies. Oh. Yeah, there's this goodness. place that we used to go to in California. They had hush puppies. Oh, yeah. With this amazing honey butter, and I was all in it. Yeah, so, that's true. I think I could do honey yeah. butter. You yeah. like it You like it in certain situations, yeah. essentially. Yeah, in things. That's what I've noticed, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, uh, as a butter, like you said, you do like it. You know? Yeah, if you but, bake with honey, I can handle it, but just like by itself. Raw honey, I can't do it. You can't do it. You can't just take a scoop. I'm just eat it <laughs> definitely not so well good. guys we hope you had a good fourth of july today. yeah let us know what you did for the fourth definitely give us a heads up let us know um yeah no for sure definitely we were working know. absolutely we were working but we managed <laughs> at nine o'clock to drive somewhere close and see the fireworks, the fireworks so that yeah. was good mm -hmm. was uh, but fun. we've been just that busy 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 mm -hmm. uh, my family is going to be coming and visiting soon mm -hmm. my sister and my nephew so i'm super excited that'll be nice yeah, yeah so we're just like really trying to prepare for that mm -hmm. and then, then later in the month my mom's gonna come so for sure yeah and i was gonna say um also oh well i'll wait till you finish i know i'm done i wanted to just randomly say this yeah. you guys i was watching like um and I, I, I kind of talked to you about this. Uh -huh. YouTubers, like videos of like YouTubers that have been like canceled over the years. Okay. There's like a lot of YouTubers that like get canceled. Right. Did you know that? You have to well, yeah, can't cancel. Oh, you got to do the quotes. Well, it's not really when you say canceled. Like, what does that mean? Oh. You know, they have a scandal. People get mad at them for a minute. That's true. But then people are over it. People so, are back. Yeah. <laughs> you have to define cancel. But yeah. That's true. Uh huh. Some sort of cancellation. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Yeah. That, you know, because YouTube's been around for so long, mm -hmm. and there's so many people that, like, will do certain things, mm -hmm. and then people get mad at them and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's crazy. I didn't know. It is cray. Girl. So, who? Like, no thing. Like, like, besides, we were talking about James Charles. Oh, well, yeah, James Charles. He got, well, he had, like, a couple things. Actually. Yeah, he had a couple things that happened. Mm -hmm. But since then, his views went down. Mm -hmm. He dropped a lot. Mm -hmm. um, there was him. Um, I was, oh, you know who I was watching? Who's not a YouTuber, but. Um, ah, what's that guy's name? Orlando Brown. You guys know him, right? Orlando Brown from That's So Raven. Uh huh. He um. He was on Doctor Phil for a second. Doctor Phil. Mm -hmm. I think he was on drugs and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Although he claims he wasn't, I guess. Mm -hmm. But did he claim so, he wasn't? Yeah. Uh, well, it's definitely mental health issues. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think he might have been on some some stuff too. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe the drugs caused it, or who knows? Mm -hmm. But. But anyways, he's definitely, um, wow, he went through, like, crazy stuff. Like, he, um, I guess he, um, I guess one of the things, I don't know if I told you this, mm -hmm. but he was, they did, like, a little, they did, like, not a reunion, but they were talking about doing a reunion, and they brought everyone back on the couch so they could talk and stuff like that. On that so Raven? On that, well, okay, sorry. Let me take a step back. So, uh, they, they brought everyone onto a talk show. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what show it was. And they were all sitting on a couch, and they were talking about how they were going to do a reunion uh -huh. for the show. So he was there, Raven was there, like the you know a lot of the, the main cast was there essentially. Yeah. Um, but during the recording of it, I guess there was a question like, who hooked up with people the most or something, you know, behind the scenes and stuff. And like um, Orlando Brown straight up was like, "Well, me and Raven were dating." Mm -hmm. And she's like denying it. She's yeah. like, no, 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 that's not true. Uh -huh. And apparently, um, when they actually aired the sh that a actual show on TV, uh -huh. they cut that part out. Okay. But what happened was they they had the tapes behind the scenes, so you could still hear what happened. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, but since then, now he's just been going on a uh, like a tour, just telling people that they hooked up, and he's like explicit. He's talking about the sexual stuff they did. And she's like denying it completely. Completely. But she's completely denying it. But then um, they talked about mm -hmm. in the in the YouTube video that what he did was um, he uh, uh, or sorry what she did was she signed non disclosure agreements uh -huh. with all of the people that she dated so she can't talk about it. Uh, so people are thinking that maybe that's why she didn't talk about it because mm. she's she signed the NDA essentially. Uh, so yeah. So anyways, but I, I it sounds like they probably hooked up. 
Unless he's lying, which he could just be lying flat out. I think that interview yeah. he did with um, everybody on in the talk show. Yeah, I think that was before Doctor Phil. It was. Yeah. Okay. Because he was talking about that. Yeah. No, he was. He was like on well, Doctor Phil that they that he was in love with her and mm-hmm. then they had a thing. Yes. You know. Yeah. Her. Yeah. Yeah, he was talking about that. Yeah. And, okay. So, I was gonna say, you know, yeah. So maybe the NDA is yeah. why she denies it now. But I'm pretty sure they hooked up. And the reason I say this is just. When you're young, <laughs> and this is before she, you know, yeah. I think really like, you know, God became who she is now. Yeah, like you know? with her, I did like knowing, you know, yeah. when you're young, you don't really know 100% who you are. Sure. You still figure it out, you're probably experimenting, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, plus they're like friends and they're like, they're all on the together. same show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. and again, when you're like young and you're like working, you know, you're probably gonna yeah. do it with your coworker. Yeah. You know, so, anyways, yeah, I believe. For it. sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the interesting thing about it, though, was they would I guess the time period uh-huh. they would have been really young, like really young. Like that's what? kind of the huh? Like fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, yeah. 13, 15, like that, 13 yeah, thirteen to fifteen or something like that. That's right. young. Listen. So it's crazy. We've yeah. all well, <laughs> have, you know, done something uh, teenage years, most True. of us. You know. Yeah. yeah, but anyways. You know what I mean? Like it's not well, that crazy. Well, it's how what he was saying. It's like, dude, you probably shouldn't talk about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was the explicit language he was using. Of what they were doing. Talking about, yeah. yeah. No, you're probably, it's yeah. like, man, mm-hmm. probably shouldn't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to, like, air out your dirty Just laundry. dating is fine. Just say dating, yeah. you know? That's cool. <laughs> no, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of messed up, especially when somebody else, like, doesn't want to yeah. talk about it. And you're throwing, you know. It's like, oh, yeah. No. Oh, he went on a tour talking about it, you know? And All so these publicly. shows and, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, he raps now. Yes, he raps now, <laughs> and, and which is at least he's he seems to be like like you know like he found God you know he's um, Christian and everything. It looks and like he's doing, he's really, doing well. w- really better, which is good. It's good, yeah. Because he was on a Doctor Phil show. You guys, if you haven't seen it, yeah, check out the Doctor Phil show. Orlando Brown. He was not in his right mind. Oh, he was messed up. Mm-hmm. I think one of the things he said was he was talking to Doctor Phil. He was like, "Yeah, I have a two year old daughter." And he and then he mentioned like he said like but but she's you know or no no he was like I have a daughter and Doctor was like how old he was like two years old but she's still in the womb and Doctor was like what how is she still <laughs> she's still in the womb you That's know and then he that, just yeah. like jumped to something else because he was like really <laughs> he seemed like he might have been pretty high at that moment you know? uh, yeah so I don't know yeah, or just like having another mental health breakdown yeah, or something or having an episode yeah totally. Maybe. Anyway, so you just want to tell the fan about Orlando Brown? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Check him out. <laughs> People have been canceled and, you know. Yeah. Coming up, but coming back up in the scene. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I just thought that was interesting, you know? Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's mm-hmm. sad. It's like we all in life have mm-hmm. our down, down moments, like our big struggles, you know, yeah. whether it's mental health, depression, anxiety, or maybe like just divorce sure. that brings you to the bottom or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, work issues, right? Yeah. But, and can you imagine like mm-hmm. going through the worst time in your life yeah. and you're the, you're the most vulnerable, you're the most like weak emotionally mm-hmm. and then having mm-hmm. that air t- for the whole world. freaking world to see yeah. And having that world have a platform to cr- criticize you, yep. to critique you, to write it, uh, comments yeah. on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Like, I, you know, it's, I do not envy anybody in the spotlight. Like, yeah. like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like that. Like, that's crazy. Well, and we have a culture, which is a little unfortunate. We want to build people up mm-hmm. to a point and then tear them down mm-hmm. intentionally mm-hmm. because it gets views. It gets yeah. all those types of things, mm-hmm. you know? So a it's lot of true. the media is known to do that. They're known to like, you know, I felt make like I felt like did that with Britney Spears a little bit. Yeah. Where they really pushed her to make her a star yeah. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. The moment stuff started happening, they were mm-hmm. so quick to just tear her down and say all the stuff. She shaved her head. Yep. She's having a breakdown. Everything. Everything. Yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. So there's no privacy there, you know? No. But, but you're right. It's crazy. It is. And, it's like, really I think crazy. we've all talked about, like, how, um, you know, thank goodness, mm-hmm. when we were in high school, we had the beginning of the phones, like the Nokia. Yeah. I don't even think they had a camera on the first phones. Uh, yeah, I don't think they did. No. no. They never did. Can you imagine? I mean, <laughs> I, I, my heart goes out 
to all mm -hmm. the teenagers out there making stupid decisions. Oh, yeah. Or even just teenage decisions, which are oftentimes stupid. Yeah. And, you know, at parties and stuff. And then you and then you just, somebody easily busts out their phone and starts recording you mm -hmm. when you're being stupid. Yep. And we've all, like, been there. We've all been at a party where someone's acting foolish. Yep. But now it's just documented and put on the internet. It's just, like... It's hard. It is hard, like, uh, to be raised nowadays. Yep, exactly. Where there's no forgiveness of, like, yeah. of anything you say or behavior. No. It's all documented. Exactly. And you everyone know? commenting, saying yep. all the negative stuff. Yep. You're a horrible act person. Like saints. I would never, yeah, no, I would like, never I can't do believe that. you did that. Oh, <laughs> I love those people. Yeah. Which is like everybody. I can't believe he said that. I can't. I yeah. mean, even I, we're guilty of that, right? Well, yeah, like, everyone we're is. We're like, yeah. whoa! I can't believe the person said. You know. Yeah. But if you really reflect on like your own self, it's like okay. Yeah. <laughs> we have to exactly. all get off the high horse for one second. It's true. And be like, yes, we have all messed up. We have all said something. Sure. We have all slipped in a in a behavior or a comment. So, yeah. but you know, Something. no. Never. Yeah. <laughs> I've never made a mistake that But you know, when a celebrity does something or, or yeah. what somebody local and it's on, you know, the news, um, it's not about it's not about you in the moment, it's about that person. So it's you're true. just going for it and then it's true. Yeah, I just wish that like yeah, during these times it's like we feed off of it as like a culture. Like yeah. we're like, Ooh, did you see? you know, and it's like topic and exactly. it's kind of and sometimes it's a little fun. I their expense it's just so sad you know no it is it really is but if we were to just like totally stay humble and be like look everybody messes up it's not it's not that exciting da, da, da. you that's know right. but then the media wouldn't have what they have now right like, exactly that's very they true would, yeah they would just wouldn't be a thing well so. the media that's what they thrive off of right they, they need the emotions they, and judgment and yeah, anger and the fear craziness and, Yep. All that stuff. Scandal. Exactly. That's yeah. right. Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, mm. this is the time that we live in. But, you know, everyone judges. Everyone does that, you know. But for mm -hmm. sure, yeah, be, these YouTubers and all these things that happen, mm -hmm. it's just crazy. Because you're bound to, like, the longer you do, you know, you're in the public eye, mm -hmm. you're bound to do something that people don't like. Always. You know? Yeah. Because that's just <clears throat> the nature. Well, no one's perfect. Exactly. And, you know. You just don't think sometimes when you're saying stuff, especially a lot of the, I noticed too, a mm -hmm. lot of the people that had been like canceled and stuff mm -hmm. like that, they're all um, entertainment YouTubers, like people that do entertaining things rather than like, you know, you have YouTubers now that do like, um, for example, I watch ones that like talk about basketball and that's all they're talking about. They're not really giving their daily mm -hmm. opinions and updates mm -hmm. on stuff, but these other YouTubers that are talking about their life and you know, what's going on, their entertainment, those are the ones that got canceled mm -hmm. because they're more... Uh, there's more of a chance of them saying something that's going to offend people. Does that make sense? Yeah, I, yeah, you know absolutely. I mean? Or, or just being yeah. in the entertainment industry, even sure. if it's just online. Sure. Versus you're just a commentator on basketball. Yeah. That's just very niche. Yes, it but is. Entertainer in general, you know, whether it's online, it can be, you know, it's like it's like being an actor, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I get that True. they would probably get more scrutinized you know yes so. exactly that's exactly right yeah it's you know it's crazy it's craziness so it's just something to think about you know yeah. it's sad that people go through that but i do have to say when people get canceled when yeah. people get just railed yeah. with negative, negative comments you're awful yeah. you shouldn't be blah 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 you know people yeah. what everybody says people do get over it they Although, do. like, it's probably the worst thing ever while it's happening. Yeah. Give it, you know, a couple weeks, depending yeah. how bad it is, right? Sometimes it's not. A couple weeks, <laughs> a month. Yeah. People do, it passes. It does, but let me give you one more example. Yeah. There's a UFC fighter. Well, he used to be a UFC fighter, mm -hmm. but now he's a comedian. Now he um, has, like, podcasts and all these things. This guy's name is Brandon Schaub. Have you heard about yeah. him? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah so, so apparently, like... Personally. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? No, I know. But you've heard of him, right? No, I know. He, he's, yeah. yeah, he mm -hmm. has, like, a, apparently, like, he has a really bad name now because... I think they're saying that he, like, lies about stuff on, mm -hmm. on his podcast and stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, he also um, had two com uh, comedy skits. He wasn't a comedian. Like, he was a UFC fighter. And, you know, his friends were telling him, you should go to, you know, do co comedy and stuff like that because you're really good. Uh -huh. He did. He had one video that was on Showtime, the first one. And it was Showtime's worst show ever. Mm. It was the lowest rated show ever. It was so bad. 
It was really bad, apparently. But he was like a, but he wasn't known as a comedian, so of course no, it's not going to do well, probably. Well, you would yeah, think no, that. Uh, maybe it was a good, so it was bad. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't watch it, but oh, I mean, yeah. I saw like a couple clips because yeah. they showed it during the video. Sure. Yeah, those jokes were pretty bad. Okay. I mean, he should have just had me write them if he wanted okay. to make something that was going to be that bad. But anyways. Surprised. Um, he was on Showtime. Yeah, I, I know. know. Well, because he had gotten so much attention. Uh, he had done so well with his brand that Showtime. Hype. Exactly. I mean, he did really good with his brand early on. Yeah. But then over the years, a lot of the stuff that he said, and then mm. he made a lot of enemies with a lot of comedians. Mm. So they don't like him either now. Mm. So anyways, essentially, mm. those type of things, it's it's harder to come back from that. You know, then somebody who just says something makes a mistake or somebody who, you know, yeah, certain things you just can't come back from. What? Having the worst show on Showtime? Well, no, no. Like talking stuff about people and, you know, behind their back or not behind their back on camera, um, making enemies with comedians, you know, and you're a comedian yourself, lying on camera about stuff. Okay. All those types of things. Okay, that's and different. having the worst show. Yeah, <laughs> worst, uh, that's different. Know. I'm talking about like one scandal because you said one thing. Like that happens yes. a lot. You know, people okay, make one comment. Yeah. <clears throat> or one situation. Sure. <clears throat> and you can't sense? come back from that. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, okay. Something like that, yeah, it's easy to come back from. But Unless having, you like, say something just horrible. Yeah. Then you can't come back from Usually, that. people do, though. I guess they do. Yeah. But I know what you're uh, saying. True. Like, you're saying, like, multiple yeah. things. You get blackballed in your, like, community. You get blackballed with the. You know, with the comedians. Yes. You know, da, 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 you know, and that's like one thing after the other after the other. That's Ex really, uh -huh. exactly. That's hard to like. That's more like a comeback. Yep. Versus like a cancel. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, no, for sure. And some people have to come back, but yeah, that one that was harder to to do. Yeah, that's true. Do you that's know what I'm saying? Point. No, I, feel I don't like you know what I'm saying. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. And you understand the difference between like the comeback versus like the cancellation? Yes. Because I do think they're di a little different. Sometimes. Sure, sure. Comeback is when like you, you get railed, yeah, and then you take a step back from the spotlight and you're like out of the game, okay, for like a long time, and yes. then you have to come back. You know, that's like different but, than. But most than people a scandal, don't yeah. come back when they do that. They you shouldn't stop. Apparently, at least that's what they were saying. Like yeah. in this video, it's like you have mm -hmm. to kind of keep going. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like some yeah. people like make apology videos. Some people just keep moving yeah. on, doing things, but you can't stop. Yeah. Like when you stop, that's the worst. Totally. You know what I'm saying? Totally. Apparently, when they take breaks, when people take breaks after they make a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Know? So, anyways. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we can ramble on about this. Yeah, we can. Night. Yeah, there's so many scenarios. <laughs> I was thinking about Nikki tutorials. Oh yeah, but that wasn't really a cancellation, which was good. But somebody basically blackmailed her. Yeah, to say, yeah. hey, I'm gonna you, you're lying to people. You're really trans. You haven't come out yet. Yeah, uh, Nikki Tutorials does makeup on YouTube. Yeah, and uh, so anyway, somebody that she knew from the past before she had transitioned yeah. to being female knew her when she was a uh, male mm -hmm. and was like you're lying to people people think you're a woman and you're not blah 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 I'm gonna expose you anyways so she got blackmailed mm -hmm. and then she had to do a whole like video of like hey I'm Nikki I'm trans da 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 yeah. uh, but luckily she never got um, canceled. canceled from that so that's good yeah it was just she was more... afraid she was going to oh yeah sure sure I see what you're saying yeah yeah, no, there's all sorts of things like that, too. Those type of stories come out all the time. People get blackmailed and stuff. And that know. one's so messed up. Like, have yeah. people come out in their own time, you that's know? That's true, yeah. But, but that one was, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that. yeah, it's true. It's sad. You gotta mm -hmm. sometimes watch the people you're around, too, right? Not everyone has your best interest or for whatever reason, mm -hmm. you know? Totally. It's sad. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Comment below. Let us know what you think of what we said. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, check out that or uh, Orlando Brown situation on Dr. Phil. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy. Did you see it? Uh, I saw it with you, yeah. I oh, you that. did watch yeah, it with me. Okay. With yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, for sure. Okay, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Share it as Karen, like your friends, Philly, over the Kate and Dave, and we're doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace out, Trouts. I love your ring, by the way. Oh, thank you. It looks really good. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I like it a lot, too. Peace out, Charles. Peace.